Alright, so in this video, we're going to actually program stuff. To do so, just click Edit Code in the bottom right of the scene view. Momentarily, you'll see the main interface. The Methods panel is what we call the panel below the scene view. This shows us actions or methods that objects can do. You can click and drag any of these methods into the Code Editor panel on the right to create your own methods and programs. Whenever you see a question mark, question mark, question mark next to the name of a method, that means that Alice is going to ask you for more information. So when you drag it over, it's going to ask us, well, what do you want the witch to say? Note that the selected tab in the code editor is called My First Method. Code that we drop in My First Method will execute whenever you press the Run button in the top right of the scene view. To start programming, click on the witch in the scene view and a list of methods that the witch can do will come up in the Methods panel. To have the witch cast a spell, find where it says this.witchSay. It's the very top method. Click it and drag it into the Code Editor panel. A menu will come up asking you what you want her to say. We're going to choose Custom Text String. And now you can type in the name of any spell you want. I'll type in the classic Double Double Toil and Trouble. But you can type in whatever fancy spell name you want. You know, Wicked Welch's Wander West, or whatever. You can now see your first line of code. And if you click Run in the top right of the scene view, you can see your super simple program in action. To make things more interesting, we're going to stir the pot, literally. And so click on the spoon in the scene view. Alternatively, you can click on the drop-down menu immediately below the scene view, go under Prop, and select this.magicspoon. Now the Methods panel shows actions that the spoon can do. To make the spoon stir the pot, we'll need to find its turn method. It's down in the third set of methods under Orientation, and you might have to scroll down to find it. When we drag it over, Alice is going to ask us for two pieces of information. First, the direction that it turns in. We'll choose right. Then it will ask the number of revolutions it should go around. We're going to choose two. So now when we click run, the spoon sort of spins in place twice. Well, that's not quite what we want. We want it to turn around the pot. So we're going to hit X to close. And then note the Add Detail button next to this dot magic spoon turn right. When we click on it, we'll see that there are some certain things that we can change about how the spoon moves. We're going to start by going to As Seen By, and then selecting this dot cauldron. Now, when we press Run, the spoon will turn twice around the cauldron. But as you saw, it moved a little bit quickly. So once again, we'll hit X, and then add detail next to the turn method. And this time we'll choose duration. If we change the duration to a custom decimal number, a calculator will come up. We can type in something like 5 for 5 seconds. Now when we hit run, the spoon will sort of turn at the perfect speed, in my opinion. As the last thing in this video, we're going to make the dragon appear. So from the drop-down list of objects immediately below the scene view, select this dot baby dragon. Now the baby dragon's methods will be in the methods panel. So scroll down all the way to find the set opacity method call under appearance. It's way down here towards the bottom. Drag this into the code editor below everything else and select 1.0. Finally, scroll all the way up in the Baby Dragon's method panel to find this.babydragon think. Drag this method into the bottom and then select custom text string and type mama or, you know, something similar. So now when we hit run, we actually have somewhat of a story. She casts a spell. The spoon will turn, the dragon appears, and thinks mama. In the next video, we'll create a brand new method where the witch celebrates her glory in summoning a dragon. But for now, just hit File, Save.